to stop excessive armpit sweating. Having stains on your shirt can be rather embarrassing, especially during the summer. However, for some people with overactive sweat glands in their underarms, it's a reality they often have to live with. Sweating is actually a natural process. It's one of the ways by which the body regulates internal temperature. However, some people have an abnormal amount of sweat glands in certain areas of the body, such as the armpits, the feet, or the hands. Aside from temperature, other triggers such as emotion can also activate sweat glands, making the condition socially problematic. Worse, when bacteria mix in with sweat, an unpleasant body odor is produced. Here's how to stop excessive armpit sweating. 1. Use an antiperspirant. Antiperspirants are often confused with deodorant products. Although there are various products that combine the two, these have very different functions. A deodorant will only help prevent the development of body odor, while an antiperspirant contains active ingredients that can actually reduce the amount of sweat produced. When shopping for an antiperspirant, look for something that has a high aluminum content. Aluminum compounds temporarily block sweat glands. Most antiperspirants sold over the counter contain between 10 to 25 percent. If this still isn't enough to keep you dry during the day, ask your dermatologist for a prescription that has 30 to 45 percent. The best time to apply antiperspirants is actually right before you go to bed. Take a thorough shower first to get rid of bacteria on the skin, pat the area dry, and massage the antiperspirant into the skin. People tend to sweat less during the night, so this gives the product some time to be absorbed into the sweat glands. Let the product stay on while you sleep. In the morning, apply a second layer upon waking up. 2. Wear fabrics that let skin breathe. Certain fabrics like polyester and nylon just trap body heat against the skin. This raises your body temperature and triggers sweating. What's even worse is that once sweating starts, the fluid cannot effectively evaporate. What you need are loose woven fabrics such as cotton, linen, or silk. Air can freely circulate through these fabrics so the body feels cooler. And even if you should sweat, the fibers of the fabric can wick the moisture off your skin to help you feel cooler, which signals the body to stop sweating. 3. Avoid food or drinks that can trigger increased sweat production. Examine your diet and see whether it contains food items that are known to be sweat triggers. Caffeine, alcohol, onions, garlic, and capsaicin, the compound that is responsible for the heat in jalapenos, are the worst culprits. Be consistent about eliminating these from your diet, and you should see some improvement once your body has flushed these substances out of your system. 4. See a doctor to rule out a medical condition. In some cases, excessive sweating is one of the indicators of illness or disease. It has been associated with heart disease hyperthyroidism, menopause, etc. To be on the safe side, consult your doctor about this issue, especially if excessive armpit sweating is not normal for you. 5. In some cases, excessive underarm sweating can be so disruptive to your normal life that your doctor will advise you to undergo medical treatment to directly solve the problem. There are several treatment options you can consider, depending on your physical condition and health factors. The most popular is the injection of Botox directly under the arms. This blocks the nerves that stimulate sweating, and the effects last for five to six months before having to be repeated. In some cases, patients have even opted to have their sweat glands removed permanently. But the procedure does have its pros and cons. Knowing how to stop excessive armpit sweating effectively can be important for a person's self-esteem. Keep in mind that worrying too much about this issue can actually aggravate it, since anxiety and stress are contributing factors to this condition. If you feel the need for support, there are online forums and communities for individuals like you, such as the International Hyperhidrosis Society.